What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to extend or duplicate your displays in Windows 11. So I'm going to talk about what that means, but first things first, I just want to go to the setting itself because it has some good pictures that help with the explanation of what the difference between the two are. So go to the bottom left hand corner on your start menu, click on it, and then just start typing settings. This helps you open the settings app easier. So just click on that, open the settings app, and then go down, or actually no, make sure system is selected on the left hand side here. So for me, it's selected by default, probably will be for you too. make sure it's selected and then click on display. So this is where the magic happens. Um, so I have my displays extended and you'll see that means I have two screens and I can have um, two different things on two different screens. So basically what that means, I have this file explorer here. And if I drag it, I can drag it over onto another screen. So that's, you know, another screen with something else happening on it. More workspace, more things you can do, you know, more things you can open and see at the same time. Well, um, what duplicating means is if I click on this, both screens will show the exact same thing. And I can't drag things from screen to screen anymore because it's one screen shown twice, basically. So click on keep changes. Um, and now you'll see that I just have one screen. I mean, for me, I can see it clearly because I got two monitors, the same thing on them, but you'll see one slash two is shown here. So to change it back, I'm gonna click extend these displays. I'm gonna click keep changes. And there's one thing you can also do. You can drag um, the monitors around. And if you click apply, this will change the way you drag things onto your extended displays. So um, I'm not going to, basically Windows could tell already what my displays are set up as. So it knew off the bat it was correct. So I don't have to do that, but I've had to do that in the past because, you know, I've tried to drag things over onto my other screen and it wasn't orientated correctly. It wasn't going to my other screen. I would have to drag it onto the left hand side for it to go to the right. So you might have to flip them around, but yeah. That's how you do it, guys. That's the explanation. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. And yeah, drop a like and subscribe if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.